The crime preventers were created as part of an initiative by the former Inspector General of Police, Kale Kaihura, to beef up the manpower of the Uganda police. However, the exact status of the crime preventers was never formalized and their legality has been questioned on a number of occasions. The president said that the crime preventers would be incorporated into the UPDF reserve forces. Today, while appearing before the Parliament's Committee on Defence and Internal Affairs, officials from the Minister of Defence found themselves having to explain the exact status of the crime preventers. How are you going to sustain them? Because the major problem we face are two and are very clear. That group was used for political purposes. That the UPDF Act, where he strongly participated, <laughs> and myself amongst other members, was clearly providing for how one is put under the reserve force. The defense minister explained that crime preventers transition into the reserve force was being done in phases, but this didn't go down well with the legislators. Under uh, UPDF or will be under reserve forces, this is coming out with us. With it was all the deferred, necessary. It was a deferred order. Yes, that at this a given time. No, no. As we speak today, crime preventers are under what organization? UPDF or police? Today, crime crime pre preventers today are under transition of <laughs> transition <laughs> from of going to we in the defence and internal affairs. We are supposed to work an arrangement to have them in reserve. It is not like instant, like a pen falls down. Another issue of contention was in regard to 81 billion shillings that wasn't appropriated in the budget. And this questioned this anomaly. Meanwhile, the issue of the 6.6 .6 billion shillings supplementary budget for the solar panels at Kololo Airstrip was brought up again. The lawmakers questioned why the supplementary budget has never been used to date. came here and apologized before this committee that uh, we were moving as a defense and we are going to implement it. 6.5 billion, uh, Chair, we have paid uh, in accordance with the contract provisions for phase one, which is now accomplished, um, about 230,000 US dollars. The rest of this money is <coughs> with, um, we have opened a letter of credit with the Bank of Uganda. MPs have also vowed not to pass the budget unless the domestic areas are cleared. More research all in TV at Parliament. <laughs>